So, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez gets bowed out by Thomas Homan, and it's really, really funny. She is left speechless due to the fact that she really doesn't know anything about the situation she's talking about. So, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the intellectual that have brought us fantastic quotes such as these. I'm trying, and you're not. So, until you do it, I'm the boss. That's How right. about that? You heard it here. I went to go visit these people that were planning the civic action in the church, and they said, you know, we... This was right after the UN report came out that said we had 12 years left to address climate change or our earth will irrevocably change for the worse. So the earth has 12 years left before it is just completely over and AOC is the boss because she said so apparently. And yeah, this has been covered a bit by some people. I just wanted to cover it as well because it is really, really funny. So let's jump into the video, shall we? You know, Mr. Chair, I was looking, how did we get to this point? How did we get to this point where we take children out of mothers and fathers' arms? And, uh, you know, it, it dated back family separation the way that we have seen it, where we take children away from their parents without due process, began last year under Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. But I had to dig further. And did she find that this actually started under the Obama administration as... A while ago, there were certain images of children in cages being blamed on Donald Trump, when in actual fact, it was due to Obama, and those pictures were back when Obama was in office, but oh no, this just started when Donald Trump came into office, because, you know, orange man bad, and that everything that has ever happened in America, that is terrible, we're gonna blame it on Donald J. Trump. Jeez. <laughs> AOC is just a complete joke. I kind of think she should quit politics and going back to being a waitress. As, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of funny memes that have come out in regards to AOC. Like her crying at an empty car parking lot. That was really funny. But still, it, I can't believe people actually voted for this nut job. And our staff dug further. But where did this start within the administration? She implemented it. And we found a memo. It dates back to April 23rd of 2018, where there was an official recommendation to, quote, pursue prosecution of all amenable adults who cross our border, quote, illegally, even though this applied to legal asylum se seekers in practice including those presenting with a family unit between ports of entry in coordination with DOJ. Here is the memo that I would like to submit to the congressional record. And so I looked at this memo and it seems like this is the source of it. Well, sadly, like I said, that is completely incorrect. And the whole point of this is that, say, if I was driving in a car drunk with my children in the car and I got arrested, I would be separated from my children and it is also to protect children against human traffickers as the problem that they have on the border is that you will have adults with children that aren't related whatsoever as they know that if they come in with children they'll get preferential treatment it is to protect those children and but these people just completely disregard any of the actual facts and it just goes back to a complete emotional appeal as these illegal aliens, they are illegal aliens. If you know, she says later, oh, they're asylum seekers. It's not illegal to be an asylum seeker. You have to do it through the ports of entry. You have to go and say, look, I am seeking asylum in this country for these reasons. Not break into the country, and then when you get caught, then you claim it. It just doesn't work like that, sadly. And it seems as though, Mr. Holman, that you are the author. It says here from yourself, Kevin Michalinen, and Francis Cisna. Is this correct? Did you sign the memo? I'd have to see what you, you give me. I'd be happy to provide it. Um, 
and we'll provide it over. But I would like to note that here it says the official recommendation. There were three different options presented. The third included the option for family separation. This initiative would pursue prosecution of all amenable adults, including those presenting with a family unit. Mr. Homan, your name is on this, is this correct? Yes, I signed that memo. So you are the author of the family separation policy? I am not the author of this memo. You're not the author, but you signed the memo? Yes, a zero, a zero tolerance memo. Now, I cannot believe that there is actually something that Australia has done that is better than America. I really like Australia. We were a great country. It's sort of been going to the dogs lately as the left in our country. Very, very vocal. Very, very stupid. But we have over here a zero tolerance for people coming into our country illegally. As what, I'll give you a very brief summation. What happened was when the Labour government, which is our left wing, even though the, uh, the Liberals, which is our Conservative Party, keep going more and more to the left, what happens is they stopped our procedure of, say, when a, a boat of illegal aliens is coming to Australia to detain them and then hold them offshore. I personally think they should just be sent back to their country. But still, they stopped that. And then guess what? We had many, many deaths at sea, which was once again blamed on Australia. So, like, in America, illegal aliens seem to have more rights than actual Americans, which is just, just utterly insane. As, like I said, if you commit a crime as an American, you are going to be separated from your children. A legal alien commits that same crime. Oh no, it is inhumane. It's uh, concentration camps. Just, oh man, seriously. What's the point of actually being American nowadays? I should just, you know, go to Mexico, travel across the border into America, and I'll be granted more rights than you will. So you provided the official recommendation to Secretary Nielsen on family, for the United States to pursue family separation. I gave Secretary Nielsen numerous recommendations on how to secure the border and save lives. But it says here that you, re you gave her numerous options, but the recommendation was option three, family but, separation. What I'm saying, this is not the only paper where we've given the Secretary numerous options to secure the border and save lives. And so the recommendation of the many that you recommended, you recommended family separation. I recommend a zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is whenever a U.S. citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Now we're finally getting into the good part where AOC is completely bowed out by Thomas Homan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. As you know, she's not really that well informed. And this is the problem that I have with the left wing at the moment, just in basically every country. They just go on buzzwords. They just go on, what do I think is going to make the biggest emotional response from my constituents? Oh, they are being separated from their families at the border. Oh my gosh, concentration camps. It's just, you have to be as dumb as mud to be a left wing supporter at this point. There are some issues that I agree with the left on. There's really no issues I agree with the progressive left on. But still, these are your candidates. These who are you are voting for. What are you doing? As it's just... <coughs> like these people are breaking into your... And this is the whole thing of... How dumb are these illegal aliens if they are breaking into a country that just completely hates them, chucks them in concentration camps... You know, I didn't see the same thing happening in Germany, you know, during World War II. I didn't see Jews just trying to break into Germany. So, yeah, they lie all the time. It's just, yeah, they're disgusting individuals. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If parents. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separated that Mr. father from Holman, his family. Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. 
The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. Mr. Chair, the, the, the memo is, um, is submitted to the record for review. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. Mr. Chair, the, the, the memo is, um, is submitted to the record for review. So this is the problem that you have when you have a waitress going up against someone that has been doing the job for many, many years, understands the law, understands the procedures, understands what the hell is going on. He handles it in a fantastic manner. He keeps his cool, doesn't get riled up. You see, once again, she's just using the uh, appeal to emotion. Oh, you don't understand. These people are legal asylees. Being a legal asylee is not a crime. It's just, she has been utterly humiliated. Apparently the elections are next year. I know AOC is pretty funny. Please vote her out of office. She is a child playing a game that she doesn't understand the rules to. And it's just, I can't believe she was voted in in the first place. Same with Ilhan Omar. They're just, there's like four or five people that are so utterly ridiculous that you just can't believe that anyone would vote for them. There are some really, really dumb voters out there. But anyway, guys, this was fun. I like seeing AOC bowed out as she just has really no clue about anything. But just remember, the, t the Earth's ending in 12 years, so you might as well enjoy the time that you have left. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it, hit the subscribe button if you're new, leave me a comment in, you know, down below if you think AOC did a good job here, <laughs> I would love to see it, but anyway guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you later.